Bonjour, hello. I know some people are doing this lip for Halloween costumes. However, I feel a need to illustrate to you the background of this. I don't think this had ever been done before other than for Comme des Garçons, Autumn Hiver 2004, Fall Winter 2004. And it's actually the front cover of this big ass book that I have displayed in my house. The hair was created by Julien Dies. He is a French hair artist. I had the pleasure of going to his studio in 2011 when I was living in Paris and I saw all of his sketches and all of the pieces that he had done over the years for Comme des Garçons. I don't think the whole universe of Comme des Garçons and the runways would be complete without his creation. I'm pretty much certain this makeup look was created by the one and only Pat McGrath. Back in 2010 when I went to New York for the first time I found this place that sold a lot of past season because they were new but they were old Margiela, Comme des Garçons and all that and the only thing that I could afford was this top that I've worn many many ways however I've never done a full-on homage to this season I did the lips and the jacket but with a very realistic ish kind of way, not with this hair, of course. Today I'm in the mood, it's almost Halloween. I mean, for me and Comme des Garçons, every day is Halloween, so, <laughs> you know. And this top is actually very complex. It has a hoodie of sorts, but it's a neck. This top can be worn many ways, and it is from this season. Today I'm going full on with the spirit of Reika Wakubo in a very respectful homage to my favorite season from Comme des Garçons. Hope you enjoy this, that you can see how I did this. It's very simple, but it looks very intricate. It is not. I thought it was more complicated than it is. Well, I mean, my job is not perfect. It's not what Julian would um, probably... I mean, is it showing? God. Thank you so much for watching and roll the clips. The model's skin is very natural, clean, very flawless. However, mine is very far from being this perfect little angel face. In order to achieve a little bit of a trompe l'oeil, I will perfect it with this Kevin O'Quan The Etherealist foundation. Specifically on the points where all of my rosacea is starting to flare up again. I will take a little bit of the foundation over this half of my lips as well to add a bit more dimension and definition to my face. This Kevin O'Quan Creamy Glow Duo. I will take with this contour brush a little bit of the darker shade to define the nose. This brush and this product, they're perfect. We can see from the model's face that there is some darkness, kind of like I haven't slept well. Look, a little bit of this and go with it around my eye. because we're already here. The model's skin looks natural and radiant and clean and perfected. So with my finger, I'm going to take a little bit of the highlighter. The fun part starts. To do the offset lips, I will start with a lip liner. This is a very old Crayon de Lèvres uh, de Chanel. This is a Rouge 24. I'm going to replicate this line starting from this point of my lips. And I will draw a parallel line from this line in the inside of my lip. Now I'm going to continue this Cupid's bow in here. They are basically parallel lines to your existing lip. You're just pushing it to the other side. Now that I have the overall shape, I will just fill it in with this lipstick. This is Isabelle Marin in Palais Royal lipstick that I've been using for all of my recreation tutorials that I hate, by the way. To perfect the lines, this lip liner has a brush on the other side. 
which I find very handy. And to be a bit more comme un garçon, like a little boy, I will do a little bit of a brow with my boy brow by Glossier and brush them upwards. The models do look like they have an eyelash mascara but very softly and very fluffy and I have this Hypnos Drama by Lancome which was a collaboration with Albert Elbaz. He was the designer for L'Envin back in the day but I love the packaging and this is basically new. I've never used it. It still smells good. Just soft. Voila. Je suis comme un garçon. The hair. If you watched my Blade Runner Rachel recreation or my Jill Sander recreation, you know I have this thing that used to be a donut bun and I cut this in half and it has come very handy. The model's hair looks like a big bird's nest. Of course, that is a wig. But we don't have that so I'm going to do what I can with what I have and I'm just going to grab this middle part of my hair I am going to roll this bobby pins And I have these little things, which are gonna be more easy. And voila, we're ready. Oh.